We're about ready to go. We're yep. at 10 o'clock. Yep, yep. Uh, now, normally what happens, because uh, of, of the amazing Stephen Cogswell, uh, let's get a big round of applause for Stephen Cogswell. Uh, we, uh, we normally have a, a song that, that plays uh, uh, up top, so uh, we, can, we can continue the musical tradition uh, by kicking off this show with a little song. In fact, we have a... <sighs> Justin, that would be fantastic if only somebody had prepared a fantastic Secret Society homage to one of the greatest songs in the history of comedy animated television. Uh, hey, how many... Uh, this is my new character. I'm, I'm Matt Groening. I live alone. <laughs> are, there any, are there any Simpsons fans in the house? <laughs> well, then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to direct your attention. <laughs> Coming up the center aisle, it is the international conspiracy that runs the world, the Stonecutters! <laughs> We do. The Stonecutters, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's start the show. Applaud for these people. Oh, hello, you beautiful bastards. It's Saturday night at Dragon Con! Welcome to Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet in, ever since uh, yesterday. I'm Brian Brushwood, and here's Justin Robert Young! Mine, Brian Brushwood? <laughs> Look, man, I'm really, really drunk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, can, can we do our first, re all right, our first reveal is that, uh, yes, we are funded by the Stonecutters, the, aka the Illuminati. Yeah. Uh, second big reveal. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm a big fan. I, I've got, I've kept it secret for a very long time, but yeah. I need to reveal that I'm a big fan. Hold on, I'm going to take well, off this oh shirt. Oh my God, well, I mean, Dragon Con is all about fandom, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder who Brian is a big fan of. That's my, that's my three jury moon shirt. Oh my God, Brian. What? I'm also a big fan. Of, of yourself? I figured, you egotistical asshole. No, no, Brian. <laughs> I forgot one button. <laughs> I'm a big fan of you. Oh shit! All right, so I, 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 do we just jump in or do we tell a story first? I feel like you got to tell it about, all right, Brian has it, a story God. that is. No, it's terrible. N well, no, you're terrible. I, oh, the yes. story's really good. Uh, Brian, uh, I don't know why I went into like Rush Limbaugh. Like, uh, uh, Brian, Brian. Uh, Snurdly. Snurdly. Uh, where, uh, uh, why did, what happened today? <laughs> uh, okay, so I spent all day getting <laughs> caught up on emails because that's what Dragon Con oh, is shit. for. It's lit, fam. <laughs> this inbox is being decreased. <laughs> it's so, it's so. At some point, at some point, I realized that I've spent too much time, and uh, and and uh, uh, there's a text message from D Justin at uh, uh, noon. Hey, are we drinking? There's a quiet bar. We should drink. And I'm like, yeah, working. Uh, One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Finally, it's like, dude, it's time to eat. Uh, you got to get over to the Marriott. And and I'm like, uh, okay, I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'll be on my way. Uh, run on my way, and I, I run in flip-flops because I'm stupid. Uh, That's the least embarrassing part of this story, for the record. <laughs> so, 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 so I get to, I get to the, to the front, and, and I figured out, I figured out. So I'm in the Hyatt, right? And, uh, and, and, and I, I could take the hamster tubes to get over to the Marriott, but, but I don't want to, I don't want to swim upstream and all that stuff. And I realized, okay, go to the street. The street is always, you can always jog on the bike lane and piss off any bikers that aren't there. Right. And so, uh, so I go and I flip flop my way down to the Marriott <laughs> and, I, and I get up to the, to the thing and, uh, and I'm just, I'm wound tight because I've been working all day and I'm late and I Hold know on. it. Pause. 
Yes, he's wound tight because he slept in and did emails all day. <laughs> High Torque Tension by Brian Brushwood as he went, sure, maybe we can re-loop on this. Send. <laughs> Too Woo. too close, too close. <laughs> so so I get up and I, and I, and I and I go through the entrance and then I hear hey and I look over and there's a security guard with a with a concern and and being helpful I'm just like oh oh hi uh, what 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 can I do for you and they're like badge and I was like oh of course my badge is in my left pocket where it always is so I reach over my left pocket badge isn't there so I come up with the most brilliant explanation ever <laughs> I left it in my hotel room yeah and so uh. And so the the security guard shakes his head uh, and and looks off to the side, which I took to mean, man, people with badges, am I right? Go on in. <laughs> so, so I start walking in, <laughs> and then and then hey, and then I'm like what? What? Like genuinely confused, and uh, and, I, and so I walk back. Well, they're like, you can't go in. You don't have a badge, and I, and I'm like, it's the literal purpose of the badge. <laughs> There's only one reason it exists, so you can deny entry to people that don't have it. Okay, so at this point, so something... I love the fact that you're like, oh, I left it in my hotel room. Nailed it. <laughs> Continue on. <laughs> you can't crack that puzzle. So, <laughs> so at this point, I, 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 my brain does some like animal calculus that, 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 <laughs> that evaluates the amount of pain of but, going the back... The cosine of acorn. <laughs> The amount of pain of me going back to my room and back, and by the way, for the record, the Hyatt's elevators are fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. Cheap pop, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, truth is truth. Uh, <laughs> so so I, I, I evaluate that pain and also being late for, for Justin, who I've blown off all day. Uh, and then, and then uh, a, a quiet little part of my brain says, there is another way, Brian. And, uh, and I... And I <laughs> I say those those immortal words that I will always regret. Pause it right now. <laughs> because what you have heard, every single syllable of it, is Brian trying to humanize himself. <laughs> before he repeats to you the words that came out of his mouth in this moment. Please go on. I turn to somebody who's just trying to make a living, who's a human being, and I say, do you know who I am? <laughs> and I say, I, I say, <laughs> oh, it gets. Shame, shame, shame. All right, all right. Look, it gets so much worse. I'm not even yeah. bothered. Save it, save it. We'll, uh, we'll come back. So I, I, I say, I am a VIP guest. And I say, and I am supposed to be on that stage, not true, in minutes. And the guy says, uh, uh, I, the guy says, uh, he, say, he says, uh, well, I've never heard of you. <laughs> and Rich is right. For that guy, round of applause for that guy. At which point, I, I'm like, uh, I, 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 it's the dumbest shit ever, and I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm just like, uh, you want to see my YouTube channel? You, 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 you want me to tweet about this? <laughs> uh, and I said, I, I swear to God, I, I, if I could take these words back and stuff them right up my ass, I would. I said, I am famous as fuck. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that this is Brian, that Brian is Bruce Banner and he turns into Alec Baldwin. <laughs> and the worst part is, in my mind, I'm throwing myself on the funeral pyre for you, Justin. I'm like, I'm gonna what eat the all fuck? No, get me <laughs> the fuck out of all that. You could have just gone back to your hotel room and said, hey, hey bud, 10 minutes late, BRB. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do that. No. Uh, <laughs> Instead, you lit into this guy and said you were famous as fuck, which eventually brings who? Uh, well, then he looks to his right to the Dragon Con guy. He goes, I'll escort him to the stage. At which point, we have the awkward walk for me to immediately explain, yeah, I'm not really going on stage. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
but I am going to be on stage later tonight. <laughs> I need to meet with my co-host for dinner so we can plan this show. By the way, is really the root of this entire problem. Uh, so anyway, I'm an asshole. How was your day? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, everybody. Uh, no, don't don't clap for that. Shame on you. for him. They're bad people. Shame, 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 shame. shame, shame, shame. I'm famous as fuck. Uh, really? No. Uh, <laughs> no. All right. Uh, uh, I'll by tell you way, what. My... I'm famous as fuck. Something said not by famous people. No. It turns out. No. That's usually uh, 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 something that, uh, you know, the as fuck kind of creates the aura <laughs> that you never need to say that phrase. Can we can we bring up friends who are better than us? Uh, I'll better tell you than what. me. Better let's than go me. ahead and bring up. Uh, uh, we we got a bunch of folks that are going to come up here. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what. I, I I need to bring up somebody that probably has the most disgust for you right now because he has known you the longest. Let's go ahead and uh, have him make his live Night Attack debut. He is the writer of uh, a little movie, Doctor Strange. Y'all see that movie, Doctor Strange? <laughs> Also, his new book, Sea of Rust, is out this week. See Robert Cargill, come on up! Face as fuck. <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> God damn it, Brian. I just, I, no, no, no. When I he want hot wings. When he stops you, my face fell into my hands. I go, no, don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. Fuck, he said it. Yeah. Shit. Just went downhill oh, from there. Dude. Dude, I can't wait to tell Jason. God damn it. No, don't <laughs> tell. God damn it. No. Oh, All right. Oh, this is going to be a fun scotch night. Yeah. In fact, text him right now. No. Text, text Jason <laughs> Murphy and let him know that Brian did that. Uh, uh, man, this is your first Dragon Con. How, how you? How you uh, how, how's, how's the, the dragon treating you? Uh, mostly well. Um, no, oh, yeah, I, was, I had a great time, and then we did uh, Drinking with Geeks last night, which went down like a lead balloon. It was amazing. I've never seen two thirds of an audience exodus before. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? That happened? Oh yes. They had. No, this is the first time we've done it here. We've done it for like seven years up in Minneapolis, and it's a standing room only show. And they came in and they're they're like, "Hey, we're gonna be drinking. This is gonna be great." And then they're like, "These assholes are just drinking and making jokes." <laughs> and Wait, we like, shit. People yeah. don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> we're in trouble. You guys are fucked. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, but that no, guy's already leaving. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's the baby bird guy. <laughs> Fuck that dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, uh, but so uh, I, I ended up drinking this terrible concoction of the worst things known to man. Uh, there was a, uh, what, uh, all mixed together. It was like a lemon and jalapeno shot mixed with. Uh, Brian's overinflated sense of self confidence. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's worse than that. <laughs> I think I was pretty clear that I was made of nothing but crippling self doubt. <laughs> that entire story law. You were a human for loco at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Before the nerve. Yeah. Anyhow, so I woke up hungover more than I ever have been. So I kind of missed half this day, like crawling out. I'd never get hungover. Uh, and this time I, I was like, oh my God, I'm in college. And, uh, and Dragon Con is outside my door. <laughs> um, so if you ever want to have the worst experience known to man, get really hungover and step out into the lobby of one of these hotels. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, to, to be fair. try to get in without a badge. <laughs> Well, they know who I am. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> World star! Chips, <Jim> bitch! Chips, <laughs> <Jim> bitch! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll tell you, how about this? Let's bring, let's, uh, we, we have so many people and we got to keep uh, everything moving. How about we bring up? Uh, one of our, our favorites, uh, and really the uh, musical legends of every version of this show that has existed. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and give it up for Flint Flossy. Let's give it up for Pierre Cashmere. Let's give it up for Watcha. Let's give it up for the Tummy Scratch Beats. Let's give it up for Turquoise Chief. I think you guys are going to have to share mics here. We got one I, I think you mean share mic, singular. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, actually, if you guys, if, if, if one of you guys can stand, we, we're now, when you more chair. No, wait. When, when, you, when you come get up, you bring a chair. Get my scoot on. Uh, all right. Turquoise Jeep, you guys just got back off the road, right? Baby. 
baby. <laughs> Uh, Do you know who I am? <laughs> outside. Outside. Okay, outside. for the record, outside. Turquoise Jeep outside. navigated the exact same portal entrance, faced the exact same demon, and had a much more clever response of, yes, we're here to check in. Our flight just arrived. <laughs> Turns out there's more than one way to get through the Marriott. That is how the game is played, my friend. <laughs> uh, uh, how you guys been, man? Good, good, good. Can't complain. Uh, uh, and so uh, the road, the road was good. You guys got a new video out. Uh, uh, make, make me origami. Make me origami. Yes, yes. That's yes, it. Yes. Uh, and by the way, who's seen this video? <laughs> there they are. Uh, the rest of you, uh, uh, for shame. It is. It is awesome. It, it is probably one of the most uh, ambitious videos that you guys have done. So appreciate congratulations appreciate on that. Nice. Wait, why is that funny? Why? 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 why, why um, we, because a lot of people think that we did a lot of. Um, uh, what can we say? Can we say LSD, uh, <laughs> opioids? Everyone has said that before, so they said it, and I keep trying to tell them it's only been, it only comes from this guy's mind. Like, so I'm basically of... shooting, and he's just basically just telling me what to do, and then I fucking see what's on the screen, and then it's like, and it's dragons and everything like that too as well. So it was fitting for everything that we did. Mechanical scorpions and shit. You yeah. Know? yeah. Well, it was Gullible Travels that was, he was high, basically. It was, <laughs> it, it, it is, it is something that you, you uh, would not fault somebody for thinking that you guys were, were on, on uh, the, the dankest of the ank. Touche, uh, touche. Uh, but touché. I, I, I love, I love the video because it is uh, new and different for, for what you guys have done in the past, but also it's like, no, but also we still need like a, a super super hot lady to like look in the camera and move her hips for. Oh, <laughs> like, she was fine. She was fine. Like, yeah, for all no, her it's, yeah. it's it's amazing. The the right. the the, uh, the turquoise jeep uh, uh, experience continues to roll on. And, I appreciate it. Uh, you guys will be here for our game, but we have one more guest uh, that is waiting here to come on. He is another great friend of the show. Uh, let's give a big round of applause for Scott Sigler. All right, oh, we, never mind. Never mind. We got, we got more chairs. chairs and coming. Chairs and coming. Might have to share a microphone with uh, C. Robert Cargill, which is a feat unto itself. Oh, there we go. You got your own no, microphone, no, yeah, too. There the we other go. End, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 The other end there. Scott. Hey, oh, my God. We're Scott. just yeah, yes, they, 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 the fucking UN up here. Uh, yes. <laughs> Scott, all, all flavors, yes. Everybody's represented. And, well, yes. and, and the guard knows who most of them are. <laughs> <laughs> We're not dropping this, my All friend. Night. It's fine. All well, night. I also remembered my badge, so, you know. <laughs> Zing. It's the simplest way. Uh, Scott, what's going on, man? Uh, new book out called Earthcore. I'm a novelist, for those of you who don't know. Oh, yes. Scott, an amazing science fiction writer. Uh, one of the we write both the science and the fiction. The new book <laughs> is Earthcore. It's out on Audible and uh, as an ebook on Amazon. The print's coming out in a couple months, but... It's blowing the fucking doors off everything we put out before. Awesome. It's uh, on Audible. It's just been a mad, crazy success. So if you like, you like movies like you know, I don't know Predator, Aliens, that kind of thing, you might dig this shit. And uh, we're excited for the print book to come out. And it's a fun thing because my business partner and I put this out. This is hey, say hi. Eh? We put this one out ourselves without a publishing house, and it's it's more successful than anything we put out before. Is, so, is, that a, is that a big leap to, to do, to, to, to go solo? Well, we put out, we have another crazy series called the Galactic Football League, which yeah. is American pro football 700 years in the future with aliens playing different positions based on their physiology. So crazy, crazy shit. And uh, that we put out for so by ourselves for like 10 years, and that's done real well for us, but this has been unprecedented. We've never seen anything like this before. So Fantastic. it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and doing and good. Where, where can people go get it? You get all that stuff on Audible. Uh, I narrate all the GFL books, so this lovely voice that you hear right now. I do all the different characters and everything. It's pretty fun. And Earthcore is on Audible. Earthcore is on Amazon as an ebook. You can go get it. If you're one of those people who likes to kill trees, we'll be killing some trees for you in a couple of months. Woo! Fuck trees. Fuck trees. And uh, <laughs> find more at scottsigler.com. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, uh, before we get into our game, let's go ahead and uh, uh, thank the people that make this show possible. How many uh, Patreon supporters do we have in the audience right now? Holy cow. Dude, thank you to every single one of you guys who keep us loud, live, and independent. You have changed our lives. Keep those hands back up if you are a Patreon supporter. Uh, Wait a minute. Hold on. Sorry, Hold I, on. Not a shout out. But, uh, you know. Oh, you know what? Oh, I say, okay, put your hands down. Because we're all gonna shout the name C. Robert Cargill. 
C. Robert Cargill. Wow, they hate me. <laughs> His you, name you feel the was C. Robert Cargill. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Patreon, <laughs> patreon.com slash night attack. Uh, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing this week? Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we, we actually might have to have our producer, Bryce Nechcom Castillo, come explain everything. Let's get him a round of applause. Hi, everybody. Uh, today we've got a game. It's uh, gonna be... All right, there's also another mini game that we can play. Oh. Which is called, uh, raise your hand if you vomited in a Hooters last night. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That did happen. That is the thing that happened. That's the thing that happened. What? Well, bring us, bring us through uh, what it's like to vomit in the the, the Hooters. Did not tell me this was a hit piece. Uh, surprisingly clean. Okay. Pretty pretty clean. Yeah. Uh, they have a good a good uh, not one of those low flow toilets. <laughs> They're like like we're Hooters. We've got it handled. Yeah. <laughs> we know what you're gonna do in there. We know what's going on. Uh, yeah. No, just had a couple one too many rum and cokes. <laughs> I need some wings. So. I just think it's so funny that they, like of all the places to vomit, like Hooters is a pretty funny place. Like if you're gonna like try oh, to yeah. write a place to do it. Uh, all right, what's uh, uh what, what is the game this week? Uh, we got a game. We played it a little bit before. It's called Real or Fake. Anybody know Real or Fake? <laughs> a couple people. We're gonna play Real or Fake, British Town Edition. Oh, Real or Fake British Towns. That's uh, right. Uh, I, uh, floss. How up on British towns are you? Uh, not too, not too up. <laughs> not too? I'm going right. to have to wing it, yes. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to show the people an example question. Y'all figure out two teams. Figure out how you want to do You want to split left, left and right? You uh, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Pass on over. And okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, uh, let's do that. Unless you want to do, do Jeep Against the World. We could do that. We could do that. No, you know? here. No, you might, no, here. Let's, let's, let, let, let's do uh, yeah, Sigler. Uh, tummy scratch, Pierre, and and watcha, and then uh, floss, cowgirl, me and Brian. There you go. So All right, here we go. Great. Uh, so I'm gonna give you an example. This one is for zero points. I want you to tell me if Puddle Town is a real or fake British town. I'm gonna need a representative for each team. Uh, all right, uh, 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 Floss. I, I feel like you're 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 gonna be our our, our representative. All right, I'm gonna take on the responsibility. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, uh, Puddle Town. What, what do you guys What do you guys think here? You think no, Puddle, no, Puddle Town is fake? It's got to be real. It it's so like it's so real. dumb. It's got to be real, right? I think, it's real. I, mean, I think I think yeah. It, come at me, Puddle Town. It, it, <laughs> if, if, if if anything, it's almost too short. Like it should be like Puddle Town Shire. on the fiddlesticks. Shire, <laughs> like it's got. It would be more. I, I'm with you guys, fake. No, yeah, no, real. you're real? not. Real. Hey, fuck you! I'm making what? my own team. It's called <laughs> people who they don't know who I am, <laughs> and I say it's real. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, uh, who's who's your, uh, your 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 designated? Uh, uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, we think that's an inc incredibly legit British town. Incredibly. Could, all right. So you team A, you're saying fake? No, we're. Uh, I think we're saying real. We're saying real. Real. You're both saying Puddle Town is real, and Puddle Town is very real. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Some Puddle Town fans. Crazy shit goes down in P-Town, man. It's crazy <laughs> shit. And now, it's going to get difficult. It's getting wet in Puddle Town. Here's question one. <laughs> Tell me about Wet Wang. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, just to clarify, is it Wet Wang or is it Wee Twang? <laughs> I'm almost Country starting Country music capital of the UK, Wee Twang. <laughs> I want it to be real. Is that help? <laughs> so we'll start with Team B. Are Wet Wang and Puddle Town next to each other? I feel like I feel like from 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 Wet Wang to Puddle Town is a new Jeep track. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need an answer. Real or fake? That's a journey of a of a mattress from Wet Wang to Puddle Town. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go we're gonna go fake. Team B is locked in on fake. Team A. Fake. 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 Brian says fake. We're going to go with fake. We're going to go yeah. with fake. Also, it doesn't matter what Brian says. Unless, unless <laughs> Flossie says it, that he's the only one that That's makes right. the call. Oh, Gentlemen, shucks. Wet Wang is very, very real. Oh. Oh. Why, why would they do that, man? Come on, man. 
<laughs> For real, like, why they gonna do that? But what Wang, man? Come on, man. <laughs> fuck, Question man? two. Do they call dicks wangs in <laughs> England? Yes. Do they? Uh, they're called tallywhackers. Do we have, yeah, do we have yeah. any British people here? Or peckers. Johnsons. Peckers. Twigs and berries. Is there, is there a British person here? Any Brits? Floyds. We got a shark. <laughs> the shark just stood up. In the back, is are you actually British, shark? And blue shark is actually slang for a penis in Britain, yeah, right so here. there you go. He's saying yes, 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 they do call dicks wangs in England. Great. The more you know. <laughs> All right, question two. Royalty. It's a very British word, they have one. <laughs> Team A. It's like a trick question. Man. Royalty. I'm gonna say no. That, 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 uh, That'd be like a town in America called uh, Plutocracy. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. <laughs> Jeez, Calm I'm kind down. of wow. I, I, it's kind of a little too normal for too a British name. Nose. It's too yeah. on the yeah. nose. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna so, say fake. So we're, we're saying we're saying fake. Fake. Yeah. Team A is saying fake. Team saying B. Fake? Can we have it in a British accent, please? Royalty. <laughs> hey man, you sound you sounded just like yourself. When you said <laughs> <laughs> England, the don't 51st accent. state. I'm not a master of voices. You say, could you say with accent Wait, royalty? Can we get, get, get this British shark up here. Hold we on. might need you this British deliberate. shark. You guys deliver We're going to talk to the shark. No, no, no. Bring him up. Get your ass up here. British shark. British shark. British shark. British shark. British shark. British shark. I swear to God, if you're not really fucking British, you're, you're kicked that out of That shark got some motherfucking swag. A man. British That's shark swag. in vinyl pants shark. with a tail. Let's get it right, people. Now, I don't know that sharks have a furry tail. Can you... What, first off, what are they called dicks? <laughs> cocks? <laughs> now, if it was wet cocks, we'd know it was fake. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, uh, can you use in a sentence uh, the town of royalty? I am from royalty. <laughs> that sounded exactly like what I said. He just made me think that's real, man. Just like that, just because the way he said it. It's all the right. swagged out shark I have a motherfucking saying. Man. Strong, all right, so we're saying fake. Yeah. Fake, yeah, yeah. fake. We're going with fake. We're gonna go real. Gonna oh go with real. shit! Woo. Oh shit! Team A, royalty's fake as fuck. Yeah! Woo! Nice. Yeah. All right. Question number three. <laughs> yeah, and that's it, everybody. We're not gonna get better than the British <laughs> shark in vinyl pants. All right. Question three. Bottom mouth. You got it. <laughs> Bottom mouth. They, it sounds better when they say it. It does. It does. You think that's it? Yeah. yeah. Bottom mouth. We are starting oh, with Team A. Uh, yeah. No, I I think bottom mouth is is real. That seems real. uh. It's real. That seems that seems uh, it's real. probably a river name of some sort, and that's where it comes from. Yeah. It's one of those things porn. that people giggle about, but the Brits are like, "Fuck it, we're keeping it." Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Real. Or also like a sub thing. <laughs> like a sub. <laughs> Just figure it out in your rooms. It's fine. <laughs> what do you guys got? We're gonna go with real. Gonna go with real. Yeah. The shark kept looking at us. By the way, like I don't like. I feel like like. I don't. I, I don't uh, uh, he knows the answer. He's, he's a, he's a the cheat The mystery code. and wisdom of this shark. Is that, wait, no, no, no. If he knows the answer, that means it's real. Yeah, yeah, you both right? got it wrong. Bottom mouth is fake. Oh. Oh. Wait, how could you prove a negative, British shark? The British are well known for their sarcasm and deception. <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? You know, you know what's really hit me? He's really, um, he's really a British shark, man. That shit is <laughs> like known for a sarcasm kind of deception. The, the question I have, though, I've got to ask this as a writer: Is it British shark or is it British shark? Like, do we do we put two shs in there? British shark. You, you have like a Twitter, man. British shark. Yeah. British shark. British shark. Br okay. Well, but well, fucking, you guys can just make out in wet wang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question four. Put your bottom mouth on my wet wang, Robert. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how you get to Puddle Town. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. Finger ho. <laughs> Finger ho. Finger ho. I want it to be real, man. <laughs> I, I want it to be real, too. All right, all right, all right. All right. Get, uh, 
I, I, I love to get to finger hoe. <laughs> he loves to get God to finger hoe. damn right you do. All right, team B. Tell me about finger hoe. <laughs> They're taking it very seriously over here. <laughs> now, I, I, will, I will. Listen, it's two of our favorite words. Give us a minute. <laughs> Give us a goddamn minute. Okay. I know. He loves hands and gardening. <laughs> Finger ho. So that is that is uh, uh, F I N G E R H O E. Right, right. We're yes. going to go with real. We're going to go with real. I think this is Team A. Which I think. I think I think there's some real finger hoes up in this. I, I think it's real, but it makes you wonder what the population is because is it like a many. is like a two <laughs> or or is it three? <laughs> These are the real questions. <laughs> Welcome to finger hole population. I, you. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, the answer to that's a real shocker. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need an answer. Is Let's finger hoe real, real or real, fake? Real. We're going real. We We're want it to be to real. Go, right? We want to believe. Wait, hold on, wait. Blasi, can you use finger hoe in a sentence? Uh, and and I, got, I got to do the British shock? Uh, yeah. No, 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 yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, uh, however, uh, you know, if you were, hey, no, uh, uh, you're, you're doing promo because you guys are going on tour in the UK. Sure, you're right. And, and you're playing a show in, in finger hoe. So just, just promote the show in finger hoe. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock tomorrow night. Meet me at the Finger Ho. <laughs> it's lit in Finger Ho. It's, it's lit in Finger Ho. Ticketmasters. <laughs> All right. All right. You both said real, and Finger Ho is not real. <laughs> oh, boo. That's fucking weird and gross. Of course it's not real. <laughs> this is really a hard motherfucking game, man. I didn't. I how didn't about, realize. Oh, how like, about what? question five? Licky <laughs> end. British Shark reacted when I said licky end. I got to hear British Shark say it. So I got to hear him say it. Then let's see. Here we go. Uh, 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 use licky end in a sentence. I love to bite my licky end in licky end. <laughs> Hold on, British Shark. Man, that's some kinky shit you talking about, man. It's <laughs> some kinky shit, man. All right, uh, somehow, somehow, British Does Shark. Does the licky end have a squirrel tail by chance? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, no, actually, I, I, I'm a blue wolf shark. But blue wolf shark. He's, he blue he wolf is a blue shark. wolf shark, and he indeed has uh, the lickiest of lickiest. I should have uh, known he was a blue wolf shark. That's so obvious. I mean, at I'm some so point, sorry. we just got to, game theory, we just got to say they're all real, right? Just keep saying real? <laughs> Fuck it, real, game man. Game theory Brushwood shows his face with real. All right, Team B, tell me about Licky End. Uh, is that, that's a good pickup line to start with. Second, yeah. uh... <laughs> That's how you end up in Hooters' bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, baby. Let me show you my toilet. It ain't low flow. We're fine. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to go real. Going to go real. Man, Gentlemen, I have good news for end. you. Licky End is very, very real. Yeah. Uh, they put Worcestershire on their Licky End. <laughs> 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 That's delicious. All right. Uh, uh, Bryce, uh, can we get a score update here? That's right. Uh, team A has got three points. Team B has got two. It's pretty close. Mm. Three to two. Question six. Tell me about Cockermouth. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, British Shark, can you please use Cockermouth <laughs> in a sentence? My mother is from Cockermouth. <laughs> it's real, man. It's real, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid, man. Are you going real, man? Yeah, sure. Cockermouth. <laughs> Team B? What did they pick? They said real. <laughs> See, they're getting game theory. <laughs> game theory Brushwood shows his face and infects the game. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting good gameplay. Real. Go real. real, yep. They do. The British are nasty. The That's British a tire are nasty. No offense, Blue Shark. No. Cockermouth is very real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's twinned with marvelous France. That's right. Well, Dick, Cockermouth is not a game you can play alone without removing ribs. <laughs> That's a fair point. 
Or apparently if you work in the White House, we've heard. <laughs> I'm sorry, did the British shark just try and cocker mouth himself? Did I just see that? <laughs> I, this is the best show I've ever been on in my whole life. This I is mean, fucking amazing. His mother's from there. <laughs> what? Watch the teeth, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Question seven. He's got to keep doing it. <laughs> he dies. We're going to start with Team B. Team B, tell me about Bumshire. Uh, all right, uh, British Shark, please use Bumshire in a sentence. I've had some hard times in Bumshire. Uh, That's fake. That's fake, right? fake. That's fake. We're going to go fake. We're going to go with fake. Fake. Uh, wait a minute, what happened to your game theory? Uh, it, it, it wilted in the face of Bumshire. <laughs> So you, you don't think that... that you're, you're, having, you're having a wilting problem, Brian? Uh, yes. You, you, so you don't think that Bumshire is a real place? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> Especially because you can't stop saying it like Bumshire. Wait, wait, wait. You're, you're not going to have, yeah, a, have, yeah. a, have, a, have a good yeah, time yeah. in Bumshire? Bum <laughs> <laughs> no, I all don't right, that, All right, all right, all right. You going fake? Yeah. Fake. Fake. Good call on both teams. Bumshire is very fake. Yeah. Yeah. Now, We're Ass clapping. Village is real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Team A, we're going to start with you on this one. Question I just 8. Just overheard the chatter of them saying, like, yeah, yeah, we got the Brits figured out. <laughs> <laughs> we cracked the code. <laughs> Question 8. Tell me about the town of Diddling. That's real. That's, that's real, right? Because, that's because real. Uh, I mean, that's... Uh, British Shark? I've been known to partake in fish diddling. That had nothing Ooh, to do with the city. Yeah, no, that, was, that was just that you was talking just, about your Saturday night. That was just... Funny enough, I'm quite drunk, so, you know. <laughs> semantics don't mean anything to me. It's hard to argue with a drunk British Shark, I'm telling you. You might think it's easy till you look into his cold, dark eyes. <laughs> and he talks about how he finger-fucked a flounder. <laughs> and it's, his casual confession to fish rape. I know. Sorry, Finn fucked. <laughs> there is no talk of lack of consent. <laughs> no. That's a very pretty shark. That's, that's the law of the ocean. <laughs> All right, Team A, where did you land on diddling? Real, real. or fake? Real. Oh, real. real. I've engaged in some fish diddling. <laughs> All right, Team B? Uh, real. Also saying real? Good call. Diddling is very real. Yeah. Hey, man. Oh. Diddling is very real. That's our PSA. <laughs> All right, we've Hi, got. I'm our, Justin Robert Young. <laughs> our prostate <laughs> examination. No, isn't that a PSA? I mean, That's sure. Yeah. That town sounds fake. <laughs> well, prostate uh, examination. Prost prostate examination. All right, right now it is six to five between the two teams. Team A on the left is at six. Team B is at five. We've got a couple more here. Question nine. We're gonna start with Team B. Tell me about Bastard on Trent. Oh my God. Uh, British Shark. The Bastard on Trent, that got its name from when Will William Shakespeare <laughs> called <laughs> Queen Victoria a cunt. It. Man, a <laughs> <whole> soliloquy. <laughs> Drunk British shark, as advertised. <laughs> well, that ad lib game is not strong, my friend. I'm saying, <laughs> somebody, if it's not real, please make a Wikipedia <laughs> entry. <laughs> that just says exactly what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Team B. Team B is in heavy deliberations. What do you say, Team B, about Bastard on Trent? <laughs> They're flipping a coin now. Did you guys already answer? They did not. You're no, up. you're oh, first. We're going to go with real. Why? Why do you think it's real? Because we flipped a coin. <laughs> How's that for game theory, bitch? <laughs> I mean, All what, right. Uh, what, what, what did you guys say? They said real. No, we're not telling you. All right. The, <laughs> I think we should say real. Uh, yeah, I think, real. I mean, listen. It's, I, I feel it's fake. Yeah, the bastard on fake. Trent you, you got its name it. from when William Shakespeare <laughs> something, something said to uh, Trent, right. yo, who the fuck was that guy? It, it was too hard for, for British Shark to formulate a sentence, so that's why I'm going with the uh, fake. Fake, yeah. Yeah. Bastard on 
on Trent. Fake. It's fake. What do we got? What do we got, huh? What do you say? What do you know? Team B. I'm sorry to say, Bastard on Trent is fake. Oh. I seen it in British Shark's eyes. I seen it in his eyes, baby. <laughs> seen that motherfucker in his eyes. <laughs> All right, now as we go into question 10, it's, se it's seven to five. Seven to five. But this one is worth 10 points. Oh, shit. Oh. What a twist. What a twist. That's some double dare shit. <laughs> God damn. All right. Now, uh, you guys got pens. You got you get some pens here. Look, yeah, sure. you guys are going to write in your answers. Same A lot time. of double dare shit goes down in Licky End. <laughs> and I want you to tell me about the, the town of Cockburn. C-O-C-K-B-U-R-N. Cockburn. Uh, British Shark. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Cockburn. I hope you haven't been there, British Shark. I really hope you haven't been there. Quite simply, Cockburn is a place you don't want to go. <laughs> All right. And he's back. I agree. Back, ladies and gentlemen. British Shark! British Shark! British Shark! You ain't supposed to look sad, British Shark. You're supposed to look happy, British Shark. By the way, here's, here's why I love Dragon. Is everybody starts cheering and chanting for British Shark? I just look and scan out into the audience and pumping his fist like a proud soccer bomb is Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I just see him in the crowd, like, I knew you had it in you, British Shark. <laughs> All right, do we have locked in answers? Yep. Uh, I'll collect them here. Very nice. Is that written on a maxi pad? It's written on a maxi pad, just for. It okay. is. Just so you could soak up the answer, if you know what I'm saying. Man, that's a cold cockburn. Team A <laughs> has said that cockburn is real. Fuck. <laughs> As has Team B. Unfortunately, cockburn ain't even real. No! It's not even a real one. But we can't end on a tie like that. Can't it's on. not a tie. We won, yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> By two hey, 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 hey. Let the man finish. Let him finish. I'm adding some drama. <laughs> Let him finish. We got he gets special... another shot. Yeah. Even in the Hooters, he gets another shot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> For 20 points, we've got our special question number 11. Tell me about Bitchfield. Ooh. Ooh. I've is been this, there. Is this, is this our last one? Yeah, uh, this is the very last one. All right. Last one, British Shark, uh, Bitchfield, use it in a sentence. My mother's been to Bitchfield, that's why I'm here. Big shot, I, I, British I, Shark's I, mom. I, I don't, Dirty shark. Let, let it go, let it go. I don't want to see the disappointment in Shredder's eyes. <laughs> you think so? I'll back your play, I'll back your play. All right, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm gonna ride with Gargill. On this, I don't know though. Something, something about Bitchfield feels Somebody fake to me. They had a road called Damn Nick in Virginia. The Virginia yeah. factor yeah. has the Rosen. Yeah. Bitchfield. Pierre's Pierre, Pierre so wrapped up in the game that he's just talking to us. Like you gotta <laughs> say it on mic, man. People got people watching. All right, we got one answer here, Team A. Yeah. You got, you got your answer. Oh boy. Both teams have said Bitchfield is real. Come on, man. So congratulations, everybody wins. Bitchfield is very real. Yay! Let's hear it for the British Shark. 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 Uh, I was getting loud. He gave me a high five here. and shit like he comes to NBA games. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He, he's going back down the tunnel with four hands out. <laughs> for the record, I mean, for the, for the audio listeners, it's just a guy with a shark on his head, an F Society yellow shirt, and, and, and pleather pants with the tail. Wait, wait. But he has Whoa. so much swag, hold, hold man. He got so much up. swag, man. Yeah. Hold the fuck up. You said just a guy. Yeah. That's motherfucking British Shark. Okay, yeah. no, sorry, sorry, I take it back. Do you know who he is? He's British Shark. <laughs> I, 
I do want to give a quick thank you to Johnny Fletcher who sent this quiz in. He sent in all the photos uh, and a bunch more towns that we didn't even get to. All so right, thank here we you go. All, all, all at once, Johnny Fletcher. Johnny Fletcher. Uh, do we want to try and do diamond time? Do we have a diamond time? Do we know? Oh do my we God. say? Do we? <laughs> no, no. Do we think? Uh, hey, hey now. Hey, ooh. Uh, all right, uh, we're by. We're three quarters of the way through this jam. Uh, let's take a moment. Let's just do. Uh, uh, you want to talk tales of Dragon Con? I sure. To I told a story. Yeah. About somebody yeah. who didn't know who I was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about you, gentlemen? Yeah, anybody anybody got got tales from the con uh so far this year? Anything uh, anything that you guys have uh, seen, heard, crazy shit that's uh been popping off aside from British Shark? <laughs> Not shit I'm going to talk about in front of a thousand of my closest friends. No, thank <laughs> you. And an audience of millions. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Uh overestimating. If we actually had an audience of millions, Brian would have been able to get through some <laughs> swear to god. <laughs> swear to god. You're killing me. You're killing me. Uh, 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 I can take a look uh, and, and have us see. Here, co cover, cover, dance, dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you know what? I have a small, I, I do have a small short story. Okay. Go. So, I don't know, just to show of hands, did anybody go to Drinking with Geeks last night? Anybody here? Thank Christ. Um, <laughs> nobody. That's, that's why you're still here. So, as I was telling you guys beforehand, uh, uh, I was, uh, I'm on stage, and we do this, this show up in Minneapolis once a year at this con called Convergence. And they were doing it here and asked me if I want to do it. I'm like, hell yes, Leo, let's do it. Um, but the, one of our guys who's always there, who's kind of the go-to crazy man, wasn't on the panel last night. So, my buddy Joseph Scrimshaw kept lobbing crazy stuff at me and like, do this, do this, do this. And, and in comedy, the answer is always yes, yes. Um, and so you know it's like here Cargill we mixed these three terrible liquors together that we all hated singularly drink all of it uh, together at once um, and stuff like that and there was one moment where he's got a bit that he does with his buddy called the baby bird which is where one person drinks <laughs> and then feeds it by spitting into the mouth of the other person so he was like, Cargill, baby bird me. And I'm like, Joseph, no, don't make me do this. And he's like, Cargill, baby bird me. And so uh, it's here, like. Wait, pause. pause. Flossy, if that was you in that situation, is the answer always yes? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I honestly can't understand why anyone walked out of that show. <laughs> oh, they were already gone by this point. This was the big finale. Oh, gotcha. Uh, well, I'm glad, I'm glad we started with just a bunch of guys drinking and uh, 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 talking to each other and ended with two girls, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so uh, what ended up happening, I did the baby bird. Crowd okay, goes, now when somebody says baby bird me, is he asking to receive or... No, or I was, I yes, was right. beating. I would not have, like, I would have been like, dude, no, I... No, uh-uh, no. I'm, but he be he's a stand-up comedian, so he's always ready to do the joke. So he was he was gonna be the baby bird. Got it. I was gonna be Mama Bird, and I was, and uh, and so we did that. And then the crowd went so nuts that we ended up with a a, a extra finale where there we had three people over him baby birding him at once. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! This this took a turn. That one's like only a available to premium subscribers. <laughs> So, needless to say, um, so, you know, I felt a lot of shame about that, but went back to, you know, went back to my room and went to a party last night and everything was great. So, this morning, I'm, uh, or actually this evening, I was coming over to one of the shows over here and I get into the elevator and my buddy, who was on the panel last night, is in the elevator and he's the only one in the elevator. I'm like, oh, hey, dude. He's like, hey, what's up? And we're just standing there and, you know, the, we go down three floors, ding, the door opens, three people walk in and they stop at half a step. And one of them goes, oh, shit, you are the baby bird guys. <laughs> I, and I, their supposition is that, like, like am I going to go four floors, have to watch that again? <laughs> is that what you do constantly back and forth? <laughs> he was, he's like, man, I, I almost lost it. I, I almost threw up last night. And I'm like, I'm very, very sorry. He's like, no, man, I can't forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my, that's my Dragon Con experience. Well, I'll tell you what. Leave it to Cargill to fucking get a reputation here fucking 24 hours after landing in Atlanta.
Uh, oh, uh, there is there is a, a one quick diamond time thing. Uh, uh, JF Dubo and, and Brian Guthrie, are you guys around? Where are you guys? Where is JF Dubo and uh, Brian Guthrie? Real quick, come on, up, come on up, quick, 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 run, run, run to Puddle Town. Uh, both of these guys are nominated for Dragon Awards uh, tomorrow. Oh uh, yes. Diamond Club, uh, uh, through and through. Uh, uh, real quick, uh, uh, get, get your plugs in for the books that you guys are nominated for. Oh, my books, uh, Call the God in the Shed, is a horror book. If you guys listen to Diamond, to Diamond Time, like on Night Attack, you, you've heard about it. I've been shilling this fucking thing forever. Yeah, yeah. the, the way yeah, mics I, work I, is that you talk into them. Oh, yeah, you never gave a mic to fucking British Shark. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Get off my ass. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've, I've been drinking, I've been drinking. Do you know who he is? <laughs> No, I mean, you crossed uh, the line, Jerry. <laughs> what, my side? Like, uh, please, please, plug your book. Fuck you! <laughs> I plugged my book. If you haven't bought it yet, y'all are assholes. I will, I will cut you, you piece of shit. <laughs> it's nominated for an award. Do you know who I am? <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. You, you guys listen to Night Attack. Duh. Uh, so you've heard me shill this book for like ever, which means that the only reason it's nominated is because of you guys. So um, I, I want to give back a little because I'm poor. Yeah, fucking applaud yourself. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, time out real quick. I know. Pause on, on all this. My favorite thing is when, says, when, when, any, when anybody ever says, give yourselves a round of applause, what they're really saying is, clap for me. <laughs> and I would love it if somebody was just honest, like, yeah, yeah, clap for me. <laughs> <laughs> So just before the show, <laughs> sorry, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> See, that works. That, that there's a reason that's what they say. Yeah. So Thanks a lot, Jeb Bush. Holding the sheet. <laughs> wow. Timely. Timely. So, so just before the show, I was talking to Brian and uh, telling him how I have a lot of issues with uh, receiving praise from people, and now he pulls this shit on me. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thanks, Brian. Hi, my uh, name is Justin Robert Young. I'm your new best friend. <laughs> Okay, who's next? Um, uh, so, okay. So, uh, God in the Shed. God in the Shed. It's a horror novel. You, I've, I've talked about it. It's, uh, it's been nominated for a Dragon Award. It's, it's received some pretty fucking good praise, uh, which Brian told me to accept and say thank you. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, I have a few copies of the book. Brandon Shark. Brandon Shark. Brandon Shark. Brian, real quick. Brandon Shark. Just uh, uh, real quick plug. It's not written by him. <laughs> oh, shit. That's Rise by Brian Guthrie. Uh, I'll tell you what. Hi, praise. Do we have time for uh, a question? Do we want to do, do we what, a little Q&A? Yeah. Who's got a question or a story? We could do a short, yeah. Just somebody who's, okay, Jeff Dubose coming back with more books. Uh, we're just, yeah, we're swimming in books here. Uh, all right, we have time for like one or two one questions. Question. If, if it's a new segment called Ask Your Goddamn Question. And you only get one. Uh, All right, here we go. We well, got a hand on, up. Come on, come get on. over here. Walk, run, run like you're a British shark from Puddle Town. Uh, all right, sir. What's your name? Ian. Ian, what's your question? Uh, it's for Brian Brushwood. Do you think that you'll ever be on Penn and Teller's Full S again? I. I, I can't I, I, discuss that. That's the that, that's what that sounds like. Uh, I I would say it's a fun. My mic is dead. <laughs> All right, one more, one more. That was magic. Uh, so what? Probably. I, I, uh, they, they seem very, very happy, and I think that that they've they've started bringing back guests, and uh, uh, I think if they because they ran out of magicians. <laughs> That's right. Uh, ding, 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 yeah. ding. <laughs> There's only so many good folks. Uh, sir, what's your name? My name's Tyler. This is also for Brian. Uh, just wondering, have you learned how to properly shotgun a beer yet? Uh, I'm the modern rogue. I'm the man who's I, a, I think the only way to answer that, that is if somebody will bring him up a fresh beer and we find out. Ah, <sighs> oh, there's no beer. What a, what a Big shame. finish, Brian. <laughs> Come on down. Come on down. <laughs> All right, you want? All right, I'm I'm 
uh, uh, how does it go again? Hey. It's about to get what? wild. Two beers? No. Fuck Let him you. do one. Let him do one. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's all right. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, another one? <laughs> I think I gotta go to Hooters. <laughs> it's time for the finale, Brian. Baby bird him. <laughs> baby bird. Now, nah, bird. Baby bird. Baby bird. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Man, don't do that uh, shit. What have I done? I, I, are we gonna do a tell show? Are you gonna show me how it's properly done? All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. One. That guy. That guy. That, that guy, guy. That, that guy, guy. That. Oh. Oh. If you don't stand up and clap for that shit, that was amazing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get gotta him to stand up and clap for that amazing shit. Give him shit. the slow '80s clap. You got him the slow '80s clap. <laughs> Not gonna beat that. The legends are true. He is that guy. <laughs> well, fuck it. Normally, I'd punch out on that. We said that guy about. Fun. We said that guy about two times, uh, and the motherfucker was what, done. What? We're out. We're out, out or ten minutes? All right, ten minutes or we out? No, you say we're out. Ten? No, ten. No, never mind. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, more questions. More questions. Come on, we got. We'll, we'll run through as fast as we can. Anybody got anything? Running. All right, we got. Oh, there we go. They're running. They're running. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're running. Uh, uh, sir, what's your name? Matthew. What's 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 the fuck? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? All right. If, Brian, for both of you, if anyone else on this panel could be the other co-host of Night Attack, who would it be? Uh, wait, wait, we already did Fuck, Mary Kill last week. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we're, I'm not selling out Brian when I'm wearing his face <laughs> on my shirt. Yeah, man, I'm wearing three Justins on my Get out, sit fun. down. Bad question. Uh, sir, uh, what's your name? Justin. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Awkward. What's your uh, uh, what's, what's your question? I want to know who the genius is in this room who made a Twitter account just now for British Shark. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna get baby birded. <laughs> All right, you got a question? Come on, uh, Mike. I just want to know. Uh, better than his question, if you could work with anyone else on the panel who you haven't already worked with, who would you work with? Uh, uh, I mean, geez, I don't know. I mean, I guess we, 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 we get to work like this. Uh, I'll tell you what. I would love to have a cameo in a turquoise Jeep video. <laughs> like, just to be, like... We, we, we may can make this happen here, Ron. We may... <laughs> I mean, I would, I would like to be, I would be like, I would love to be white man number four in the background. <laughs> I, have, I have always had, I have always wanted to be a befuddled white guy in a rap video. Just, just, you know, the, the, the guy, uh, like, like at, at the, uh, like a party erupts and you're just confused. No, it's always, it's always like, like the guy at the ballet too. stand, like, uh, like, you know, Stuffy old white guy when like the rapper comes up in like the the super like crazy car it's just like Puck. <laughs> 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 oh, Can you do that again? Do that again one more time. Do it again one more time. <laughs> do you know who I am? <laughs> I told you I was born for this role. It wasn't. <laughs> hey, here we go. <laughs> So, Bryce, Famous as uh, fuck. you threw up at the Hooters, but uh, you went to the bathroom twice. So, are you going to admit to throwing up twice? Uh, what was your second time in the bathroom for? Uh, but this doesn't need to be Watergate. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he threw up in the Hooters. We get it. Come on. Uh, my name is Matt. It's my birthday tomorrow. Dream guest for the show. Uh, Matt on his birthday. Matt, 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 Matt. That's how you avoid a question. All right. I'm Ashley. It's actually my birthday today. 
Ashley, 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 Ashley. So we've been having this debate for like the last three years. Do you guys think that zombies, like dead zombies, can climb? Can zombies climb? We've got we've got a, a couple of horror others. So let's let's actually go go to uh, Sigler and uh, uh, most Cargill. of their other ambulatory functions seem to be intact. So I would say yes, zombies should technically be able to climb. Yeah, it's just walking uphill, right? I. Uh, well, I mean, is that is that any harder than walking? Don't you think they could pile up on each other if they if there's a whole bunch of them? They could pile up on each other. There you go. Where will Z? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I got to climb I gotta the say, shit out of that wall. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, point of order here. Uh, which zombies are we talking about? Are we talking Romero zombies? So, are we talking Return of the Living Dead zombies? Are we talking World War Z zombies? Like, like Romero, not like a ra- like a, like a dead. Romero bear. zombies can't climb. Okay. The Romero zombies can only shuffle, and they're very confused my all the time. Favorite when they walk. All right, comedy. All right, all right, all right, here we we, we, we got to burn as many of these uh, as we can. Go, go, go. Uh, Brian, when are you going to have uh, Justin on the Modern Rogue? Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Soon. So where should Ashley and I go for our birthday celebration tomorrow since we should get some free shit for that? Uh, yeah, Hooters. Yeah. Congratulations. You get a copy of A God in the Shed by J.F. Dubow. <laughs> Come get your book. Happy whatever you said. Hi, Jordan. Uh, question for Brian. Have you finally thought of something worse than coming bees? Uh, oh, my God. That's yeah, Brian, uh, uh, you, you famously... Uh, uh, you're, you're not just known for being a dick to security. Uh, you also famously uh, talked about uh, how painful it would be to come bees. Okay, so this was this was the question. All right, all right. And th- uh, uh, by the way, there's a fantastic uh, uh, somebody animated this to um, uh, clips from uh, the Super Mario Brothers cartoon. But my question was, if you encountered a genie and he was, he said, it's either or, I could grant you one wish. It is a genuine wish, it'll, it'll actually come true. Uh, every time you ejaculate, you will ejaculate bees. Uh, do, you, do you take that gift? On the one hand, uh, you will have a genuine supernatural power I mean, it is repeatable and demonstrable. At the very least, if the James Randi Foundation still had its million-dollar challenge, you would be able to collect a million dollars, although you'll probably have to go on the road on an X-rated circuit to show it off. Uh, uh, you, do you take that gift or no? No. No. Uh, Jeep? I mean, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no superhero. There is no superhero in the world anyone will take seriously that has to go, hold on, (laughs) supervillain. Get ready. It's got no no real function. But, but, oh my God, don't you just like. Uh, 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 Jeep, Jeep, uh, Jeep. would you have uh, unlimited wishes if only uh, for the price of coming bees? No. <laughs> I, love my, I love my genitalia. I can't, I can't, I can't risk it. That it. I can't risk it. that it feels good. Uh, oh. oh, it still feels great. It still feels great. It still feels oh, it great. It still feels good. To you. Probably won't feel great to her. Wait, so, so does that mean, does that make you a bisexual? <laughs> Stop it. Sigler, coming bees, yes or no? You haven't succeeded until you've made the crowd boo you. <laughs> <laughs> so all I got to do is jizz bees. Yeah. And then I get unlimited awesome wishes. Unlimited well, awesome no. wishes. You, you just get to jizz bees. Oh, that's it, just jizz bees? Yeah. I got to take that. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> right, right. Because I'll tell you what, if she doesn't report you for criminal sexual conduct, you are getting a second date because she's never seen that shit before. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, but that's, that's not how that's going to work. You're going to be sitting around having a beer with one of your buddies and you're going to go, dude, want to see something cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just take one final kiss after a lovely amorous evening and say, you're the queen now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's say, hey, hey, huge... honey, let me show you something. Honey, <laughs> you're killing me. All right, let's go ahead uh, from furthest out uh, to the end. Let's get a big round of applause for Scott Sigler. 
Earthcore, Earthcore, available now. How about this one? Everybody look them up on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere that you listen to the best uh, uh, shit on Earth. Let's give a big round of applause for Turquoise Sheep. Yeah. Sea of Rust is out next week. Let's get a big round of applause for Cargo. Another one in the back, brother. Dude, I think we learned a lot today. We learned that nobody knows who I am. Uh, we learned uh, that uh, a British shark is from Licky End. <laughs> uh, we learned that like uh, British names are... Very dumb. <laughs> We've learned that uh, uh, Drake isn't the only one who finally remembers the Hooters on Peachtree. <laughs> uh, hey, special thanks, of course, to Bryce Nescom, Casillo, Tony B. Casty. I could talk. I might have shotgunned a beer. Fuck you. Do you know who I am, Bryce Nescom? <laughs> Our, our, our attorney. Uh, that's it. A big round of applause for British Shark. Big round of applause for Shredder. Big round of applause for all you. Love you guys. Have a great Dragon Con. Drink a warm Baby bird. Baby bird. No, we kidding. Baby bird. Night attack. 2018. Night attack. BDSM selection. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Please enter, exit through the front door, if you can. Please exit through the front door. Thank you. Ryan Club, mom, you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>